Hey everybody, Erin from The Impatient Gardener, and it's a bit of a sad day because this beauty that I'm standing under here has to go away for the winter. This is the purple bell vine, and I'm just gonna show you how I'm overwintering it, but the main reason I wanted to do this video was sort of go full circle on this because we actually planted these seeds way back in like January, um, and as I've mentioned in several videos before, those seeds didn't take. I re-sowed and those seeds didn't take. And listen, if you've tried to grow a purple bell vine uh, and have not had success, don't feel bad. It is very hard to get to germinate and it is extraordinarily slow. Um, so it just sits there and then all of a sudden one day it does something, but it takes a long, long, long time to get to here. Now, so these plants that you see here, um, there's one in each of the containers here on the deck I bought. I ordered these as plants from Select Seeds, which is also where I ordered the uh, seeds from. And I was watching because I knew they had those plants. I think they were for sale for like five days. And if you and I think by the time I got the email, I was signed up for notifications. By the time I got the email, I had already bought them. And I think they were almost sold out at that point because they actually were available for sale before the email went out. Anyway. Um, the interesting thing about purple bellvine though is that it's actually a tender perennial it's not an annual so in places where where this grows which is generally zone 10 and 11 um, it will grow all year and it will get to be huge so this year instead of going through all that hassle that I did last year i am going to attempt to overwinter these two plants but make no mistake the main reason i'm doing this video is because it's my last opportunity opportunity to show you what these look like in their full glory because they are spectacular. So there is just one plant in each container um, and I've obviously got other things planted in that container as well. And um, I just guided up by three strings and then I tied a string from, from this post over to the center and you can see that the plants just follow those strings went all the way across, met in the middle, and then actually they started draping down again, which just gives them this drippy look. That that all just happened probably within the last month or so. I mean, really it wasn't until probably, you know, even early September that they met in the middle here. But what's amazing about this plant is that it blooms along the entire length. So hopefully you can see all these beautiful little bells just hanging down. I mean, I just, I mean, I think you guys know that I love this plant, but it certainly loves this spot that it's in as well. So in terms of care, I did really nothing different with these than I did with any other plant I had in a container. Basically regular water at the end, or maybe at the end of June or so, I start fertilizing once a week and that's it. Now I will say these are shaded from the really hot part of the day. When the sun is high in the sky in the middle of summer, by maybe 3, maybe 3.30, there's no sun on this deck, but there is a lot of heat on this deck because it's one of those decks that really heats up. And so I know obviously they like heat, so maybe that helps a little bit too. Nonetheless, sadly, it is time for these to go. I really could cry because they look great now. I just know that if we push this too long, the chances of them overwintering successful uh, go down. And unfortunately that means that I'm also gonna have to lose the rest of the plants that are in these containers. It has to happen at some point. I just hate doing it while they still look good. But since we're getting late in the season here, I know that once we do get cold, it's gonna get cold fast and stay cold. So time to just get on with it and it's inevitable. So this coleus is called Main Street Beale. It was just a fabulous performer. I had it here last year too. Um, I'm just going to try to ease it out of the pot here. I want to try to disturb the roots of the purple bell vine as little as possible. And uh, lastly, this is Ogon grass, which actually is potentially hardy here. So I think I will just pop it in the garden somewhere. Um, it doesn't hurt to give it a shot and see if it'll do okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is just cut the strings that this little post is supports. And I'm just gonna slide this bamboo pole out of here. Now, my understanding is you can basically just chop off the top growth and keep the roots. So that's what we're, that's what we're gonna do, I guess. Maybe I'll cut, I'm gonna cut it high for now.
Unfortunately, I can't find my favorite ice cream scoop. I think it got lost when I was working on the fall container. But we're just going to slide this baby. This is um, bigger than a gallon pot. Um, this is what like proven winners um, perennials often, or I mean shrubs often come in, or even some of their larger perennials. I don't know. I save all my pots. You guys see me reuse my pots all the time. I pretty much save as many of them as I think I might use, and they come in real handy for stuff like this. Plus, they're very hard to recycle because a lot of places won't take them. Okay, leaving myself a little bit of a gap on there. Um, to make sure that I can water them well. All right, that looks pretty pathetic, but we'll see how this goes. Okay, now let's get the other one. I'm just gonna give these a really good water out here so that a lot of that water can drain out before I take them down into the basement. And I will just show you if the camera will work down there, my setup down there, and the ridiculous situation I've gotten myself into this year in terms of saving plants. Okay, so we're down in the basement. These are the racks with the grow lights where I start all my seeds. And uh, we've got the, the kumquat right here, um, Sissus discolor vine there, um, Senecio skyscraper, and then uh, the um, coffee cups colocasia over there, which I cut back a ton. And uh, over here, we've got geraniums up on this one. Down here, we've got another geranium that someone uh, gave me, which is really cool. Um, a bit of basil I propagated, and then you guys remember when we propagated the um, Plectranthus Silver Shield. Do you see this big tray at the bottom? This is called a giant garden tray or something. I'll put a link to it. It's quite heavy duty plastic, and it's got a nice thick rim on it, probably an inch and a half even two inch rim on it. I ordered more of these so I can have one on each shelf so that the dirt and the water doesn't drip through the lights. Um, they're not cheap, they're like 17 bucks a piece, but well worth it. And it'll be really good for bottom, bottom watering seedlings. So these guys are just gonna go on this bottom rack for now. I might move them up to the next one when I get a tray for that top shelf. But for now, they go right down here. And we just hope that they do well. Great lighting I have here, huh? This is, this is what we're up for this winter, a winter full of Aaron in the basement with poor lighting. All right, purple belvine is in. We're gonna cross our fingers um, and hope that that grows. If you tried it and you didn't have success with it, I would just tell you, try again. It's definitely not the easiest plant you're gonna grow, but if you get it right, it's so, as you saw, it's just so amazing. Um, I hate to gush too much over a plant, but it's gushable, I think. As for the rest of this, if you're wondering where I'm going to put seedlings when I grow them, I don't know. This is problematic. Too much stuff. A lot of this might have to get moved upstairs into just the bright window we have off the deck there and uh, cross our fingers on that. But I'm not going to worry about that till you know, mid to end of January when it's time to worry about those things. So I'm going to give myself a break, keep it down here for now. Everything will stay real happy. All right, I hope you guys found this interesting. And uh, here's our full circle purple bell vine moment. Hope you're having a great day in your garden. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.